Good morning, brothers and sisters. Where we're watching from today is on Thursday after Ash Wednesday. Yesterday we celebrated Ash Wednesday, and today is on Thursday, third March, the year 2022. Brothers and sisters, the fundamental, actually the foundation call of Christian to charity is a frequent theme of Gospels. During Lent, we were asked to focus more intently on alms giving, which means donating money or goods to the poor and performing other acts of charity as one of the, 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 the three pillars of Lenten practices. Alms giving is a witness to fraternal charity and a work of justice pleasing to God. That one is captured right from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The, uh, the number is 2,462. Brothers and sisters, wherever you're watching from that, uh, corporate works of mercy, and also we have the spiritual works of mercy. And uh, the corporate works of mercy is to instruct the ignorant, to give drink to the thirsty, and to clothe the naked, to harbor the harmless, to visit the sick, uh, to ransom the captive and to be, to bury the dead. In the spiritual works of mercy, we have to feed the hungry, uh, to counsel the doubtful, to admonish sinners, to bear wrongs patiently, to forgive offensively, and uh, to comfort the afflicted, and to pray for the uh, living and the dead. That Those are the spiritual works of mercy, and also we've captured the corporal works of mercy. Today is a great day. We're celebrating St. Sunagundes, Actually, we're celebrating St. Sunegundes uh, being on 3rd March, the year 2022. Uh, it's uh, her story, just a little bit of her story, that uh, St. Sunegundes was the daughter of uh, Count Siegfried of Luxembourg on the border of France and Germany. In, 1919, in the year 999, she married St. Henry, uh, Duke of Bavaria, who ascended the throne in the year 1002, upon the death of Otto III, taking the titles of Henry II, and was crowned emperor by Pope Benedict XIII in the year 1014. As queen and empress, St. Sunagundes continued her life of prayer and penance, the penance which we have been asked to embrace during this time of Lenten season, to which she had been accustomed from childhood and used her exalted position to increase further her charities towards the poor and the needy. Also the almsgiving, the theme, one of the themes which we have been requested to embrace during this Lenten season. With her saintly consort, she founded and richly endowed the Bisoboric of Bampag in central Germany and the Benedictine convent of nuns at Kavgen when she was widowed in the year 1025. She retired to this later convent and ended her days there on 3rd March as a humble nun in the year 1039. In art, actually in art, St. Sunagundes is represented as walking barefoot over red hot brushes, signifying our ordeal when in the presence of the emperor and the court, she proved her perfect innocence against some uh, pavidias calamity. Together, St. Sunagundes and Henry canonized in the year 10, 12, 00, and St. Henry was canonized in the year 1146, respectively. Stand, they stand out as significant examples of a husband and wife, saint couple, a reality in history. Actually, these are two great uh, people in the church, but as we celebrating St. Sunagundes, as she was got married to St. Henry, they became great people in the church, and all were saints. You can imagine that, a family of a, a husband and wife being canonized as saints. It was a great family, and I believe that we learn a lot of things from these two great people in the church, especially St. Sunagundes, whom we're celebrating today, being on Thursday 3rd, uh, Thursday after Ash Wednesday, which we celebrated yesterday. Actually, we've got that, uh, we've had that um, in the year 999, she married St. Henry, Duke of Bavaria, who ascended the throne in the year 1002 upon the death of Otto III. God is in control of our lives. That's what we can capture from uh, this introduction of, his, of her life. We should surrender to him so that he, dis he, he directs her to the right path and choices. Because St. Sunagundes made the right choice, she was directed by the Spirit of God to get married to St. Henry, whom later they were canonized together. 
and she embraced prayer and penance, the themes of this Lenten season, of which we have been requested to pray and also to, uh, to, to have time to reconcile our sins to Him, to God. We are called to, during this time of Lenten season, this is what we have been called to. Just we go and cleanse ourselves so that we can be fit, more especially during this time, this season of the church. Prayer should be the key of the day and the lock of the night. That's one of the pillars which we have to embrace during this Lenten season. Prayer is a pillar at all times, that it should be the key of the day and the lock of the night. And the sacrament of reconciliation is, is, is actually vital to each and every one of us during this time. That we're talking about penance. And prayer is a powerful tool because it uh, j just fixes us to be complete. When we pray, we become complete because all our worries or our sorrows, they got solved when we ask God humbly and in sincerity of heart. And we have heard that St. Suna Gundes, she was a charitable queen, more especially to the poor and the needy. Also, it's one of the pillars uh, during this Lenten season, alms giving, just visiting others and being there for others. So one of the pillars which we have to embrace during this time of Lenten season. Do we give hands to the poor and the needy? It's a challenge to each and every one of us as Christians and as Catholics during this Lenten season. And do we show them love? Because by sharing with them what we have, that's showing them love. Do we share with others? Actually, this is the time we're supposed to share with others, especially during this time, the, the season of the church, the Lenten season. Her husband died in the year 1025 and she died in the year 1039. Together they were canonized in the year 1200 and St. That St. Sunagundas was canonized in the year 1200 and St. Henry was canonized in the year 1146 respectively. We pray for our families, parents, so that they can receive blessings from God. St. Henry and St. Sunagundas were a couple. They were a blessed couple and they really impressed God's teachings. So we pray also for our families, wherever they are, especially during this Lenten season. We also take this chance to pray for other families as well, not only our individual families, but also we pray for other families so that can have that harmony, that peace of mind, that praying together, especially during this time. They stand out as significant examples as a husband and wife, St. Couple, a reality in history, because not, it's not common to have the husband and wife being canonized as saints. And the, this one teaches us, most especially the value of being in union with God. The, this couple were in union with God in all what they were doing. And that's why at the end of the they are elevated to that level of being saints in the church. We intercede for those looking forward to marry so that they can make the right couple who fears God. St. Henry and St. Sunia Gundes, the, the, the lady whom we're celebrating today, they were actually the right couple, which God blessed them with a lot of blessings. And that's why, at the end of it all, they were elevated to that level. Brothers and sisters, I think that we have had a lot from these uh, saints, to, especially St. Sunia Gundes, whom we're celebrating today. And I believe that... Uh, she is a perfect example to each and every one of us as Catholics and as, as Christians. St. Th Therese of Havila quotes a very good quote right here as we're celebrating St. St. Gundes. The, he, she writes, St. Therese of Havila, she writes, He who does not advance in the way of perfection falls back, for love cannot continue in the same degree. When actually you've sidelined yourself from what the church teachings are, you fall back. And that's why St. Therese of Havila is writing, I repeat once again, he who does not advance in the way of perfection falls back, for love cannot continue in the same degree. That's a very vibrant quote by St. Teresa of Avila, a very great person in the church as well. So brothers and sisters, I believe that you're watching this, wherever you're watching this from B Media, I believe that we've learned something today. So for this time, I'd like to invite you, we pray together, especially to receive the blessings, the intercession through the, our center of today, St. Sunagundes, that we can be able to journey through this Lenten season in the city of heart, especially when it comes to our prayer. So brothers and sisters, wherever you're watching from, I invite you, we pray together. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, you invite us deeper into your world. 
your people, your land. May this time be one of outward focus, seeking you in those we often ignore. Help us live a land focused on freedom, generosity, and encounter. Give us heart to serve you and to serve those who are most in need of us during this time. Jesus, you have known us from the beginning of time. You have known us in the depth of our dreams and the darkness of our shame. You know us as your beloved. Help us to own that called identity more and more in this season of repentance and mercy. Give us the rock soul assurance of your unwavering faith in us. As we ask the same in you, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you for watching. Continue subscribing. Get us on B Media on our Facebook and on our YouTube. Just go to B Media and you can be able to get us. My name is Omar Alex. Have a blessed Thursday.